Hey, 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 Pisces, this is your sacred star here, ready to do your reading. This is going to be a reading for my Piscean Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Pisces, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it, and thank you so much for all of your like shares and subscriptions if you guys are interested in a personal reading that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs information can be found in the description box below make sure that you're utilizing the link in the description box places if you are interested as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Okay, sorry about that Pisces, I dropped a card. All right, so your overall energy, Pisces, is the Knight of Wands. You have the Two of Swords as your challenge card. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Moons, and the Hermit card. Your overall energy is that of excitement, right? I'm getting abundance. Okay, there's this lightheartedness because I'm getting light as a feather, right? There's this lightheartedness with this Knight of Wands, very youthful vibe. So I feel that there's a lot of excitement, there's a lot of pep in your step here, all right? That's what I'm getting. Now, your challenge is a decision. You're stuck, right? Between, could be a rock and a hard place, but you're stuck between two things. So you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Moons, and the Hermit here. There's, you're, you're trying to figure out which direction to go in with the Eight of Moons. You have all of this. See, you have three different directions here. This is the Two of Swords, but it may be three different directions that you can choose from. But I feel that you have to walk away from something. So you're going to be going into Hermit mode because things are changing. And you want to go in the direction of your dreams. You want to go in the direction of abundance and change. And I do feel abundance with this Knight of Wands. So the chariot. So this could be involving moving, physical moving here. Yep, six of swords, moving again. Oh, and three of swords. Okay, that's why you're feeling stuck. It's on one hand, you're, you're excited, right? I feel like your heart wants to move forward. This could be a project, especially this could be work. This could be love, but wherever you're going, it is a state of peace here and balance. But wherever you're leaving, it's heartbreak. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. Interesting. you got three, three here. So I feel that you want to manifest because I'm getting manifestation from the three. But there's a heartbreak involved. Maybe you've got to leave your family to go somewhere else. Like that's just an example. They're not saying that, but that's just an example. Say coffin. So something needs to end in order for something to begin. All right. So tell me about the two of swords. Five of stars. Yeah. You, you feel like you're leaving somebody behind feeling. You feel like. Somebody else is going to feel lack without you. The devil, this could involve a Capricorn. You could have that in your chart. Knight of Stars, you're taking your time with this decision here. There are temptations involved, right? Maybe if it's between uh, jobs, you know, maybe money is the temptation. Or maybe there's a codependency with somebody that you're leaving behind. A sibling. A, you know, a, a family member, you know, it could be anybody. That's the hesitation. Yeah, this is about official person. This is about you building. 22 is the master builder in numerology. For me, that's my building card in the Kipper. 
So tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. The Wanderer. You have the King of Swords. Yeah, and the Four of Swords. So this is about your dreams coming to fruition, making that decision with the King of Swords. I feel like you're the King of Swords here. Making that decision but you're going within this four of swords. You're not speaking to anybody about this. You're going within to implement this change. Oop. Mm, be careful about holding it in. It could create a health issue. Huh? Judication. This is the decision. Okay. If this isn't creating a health issue in you, this has to do with whoever you're leaving behind. There could be health problems and you're worried you feel guilty about that. You got a lot of threes here. You got number 30, number 31. Okay. Tell me about the eight of moons, about what you're walking away from. Seven of swords. Why do you feel sneaky? It's a home. Uh... The king of stars. So there's some sort of stability. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that you're walking away from. Okay. I do feel it's a home. It, but it's somebody in that home. With seven of swords. Mm. Justice, making that decision, but you're not communicating. You need to communicate to this person about leaving, okay, and leaving them behind here. Even you, they may not even know you have a choice of three jobs or, you know, whatever it is, mature woman. So this could be a mother, a grandmother that you're leaving behind, the one that is sick or something. Okay, so tell me about the Hermit. The Four of Moons. The Magician. Wow, and the Two of Moons. So you're thinking about an opportunity here to create, right? It could be a person, but it could also be something that you love. Tell me about the Two of Moons. The six of wands so yeah you're gonna feel victorious right with this two of moons you're gonna feel victorious in creating it but i do feel you're gonna grab hold of some sort of opportunity that's coming your way you just have to be confident in the direction that you're going in change okay so let's get advice for you you got a lot of abundance coming. So for a lot of you, this is business. It could be business and love, but business is standing out. Ten of Moons, the Tower, emotional fulfillment. So there, th these offers that are coming, um, not offers, these choices that are here, okay? Because I do feel that there's choices, three choices specifically of the direction you can go in. You can do A, B, or C, or at least that's in your mind. Six of stars, yeah, decision time, juggling two. Maybe you narrow it down to two from the three, but this is about your emotional fulfillment. And I do feel that you need to tell this person about this. I don't feel that you've told them yet. Main male, so you're very much in your masculine energy, whether you're a male or female right now, because you, you're needing to make this decision. So the King of Swords, attitude, that's what it is here. But you get a lot happening, Pisces. Let's see what advice we have for you with the divine dog wisdom. Allowing, let it happen. So don't stress over it. I mean, I don't. the only stress that I really see 
or feel is the two of swords, that feeling of being stuck. But I feel that you take advantage of that being stuck. You go into hermit mode. You, you know, go into the four of swords mode. You take a step back, okay? And you try to think about your dreams and where you're going to go from here. So allow it to happen, Pisces. And I feel like your dreams will come true with the wanderer. So that's what I have for you. I hope that resonates. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing the link in the description box, Pisces, if you are interested, as there are scammers about the community. Um, and know that if you do order a reading from me, that you will always see my face as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.